hello as you can see this is my activity to purchase items from the shopping cart the name of my activity is shopping cart activity the above spinners here shows the category of the products monitors computers accessories as like computers the below one shows the corres uh, the corresponding computers or to say the corresponding products i select dell I select Sony. And say I select a serial. Now all these products are shown into my card. And this select number of items will show the price of the corresponding. Here after if I press the cancel button, my activity will be closed. And if I select the add button, all those items will be added to my card. Here in the item card, I can see all the products which I have selected. This is SCL, Dell, uh, 50,000, SCL, 20,000, Sony, 50,000. Again, SCL, 20,000. Okay. And their corresponding price, that is this, 140,000, will be shown below. The total amount before the taxes. If I say go back, I will be directed to the first page only. And if I say check out, I came to my third activity where it will ask to enter my name, email ID and the corresponding sales name I want to select. So select my name again. That's my name. And my email ID. And it's stored in the cache. I select it from here. Press enter. And the corresponding salesman which I want to add. I say let's see. I now finalize my purchase. Here it shows the name and the email ID I entered pre previously and the total taxes which are added before purchasing. If I select pay now, it will be paid and if I select cancel, it will be directed to the cancel and no amount will be added here. But if I select pay, it will add it to the uh, first page, it will go to my first page and uh, we can buy or stop the application from there only. In the end, I want to thank Azureka for supporting me, for teaching me Android and especially the technical team who helped me throughout this project to make this project a uh, success. And now I will try to make more and more Android applications. Thank you Azureka.